First of all, we have to know what the usage of Navis Work software is. So I'll try to tell you very easily and simply here, till you can understand the usage of this software. Actually, uh, the Navis Work software doesn't have any ability for modeling. And you have to enter uh, your models from other softwares into this software. Uh, but let me tell you that because this software supports many formats that actually you can see them here from different softwares cause that you uh, actually without considering which software you're exactly using with, you can put models on each other and then you can simulate different things that you need, such as analyzing problems, uh, association, or other things that you need easily. As an example, uh, perhaps you've done a project with Tecla structures. Of course, let me tell you that this project is with Revit. Perhaps you've done the project with Tecla. Perhaps you've done architecturing with Archicad or you might do the mechanical uh, installations with other softwares. So I gave you three different examples uh, for softwares. So if you want to know about different things like quantity surveying and estimating 4D and timing simultaneously, so how can we do that? So other softwares can support the other formats. So you have to use different plugins or IFC then the file will be really heavy and however if you want to do it with that software for sure that software won't give you all of the things and abilities that you want so what we have to do is going for a software that can simplify this process for us now one of these softwares is navis work and also we can use synchro and also bexel manager that we can say these three softwares are more famous than other softwares so they are Synchro, Navis Work, and Bexel Manager. So here we are talking about Navis Work. Why I said about the other software is because you get familiar with those names. So you might live in different countries. You might like or love even uh, these softwares that you can do some research on that, that you can increase your information about that. And also I have a friendly suggestion to you that I myself do it a lot. You know, here I'm teaching you about Navis Work. But before I have worked with Synchro and Bexel, I mean I've done some real projects. Uh, let me tell you that each one actually has some advantages and disadvantages. Uh, the point here is when you get familiar with this, uh, with, with different softwares, I don't mean you get an expert in that, I mean just getting acquaintance. Or learning of it uh, intermediately, just to know how to use it. And then you know the advantages and disadvantages of each one. Then you can be connected to the main software that you're using easier. And also you can um, transfer different techniques from one software into other softwares. I don't mean that you export one program into another program. For example, in Synchro, in Synchro for doing a 4D project, you will need to take some more professional processings that we can't find them actually in Navis work. But because I worked before with a Navis work, I'm a little uh, expert with this software, I will let you know how you have to use uh, those technical parts into Navis work. Or even in some parts in Bexel Manager for interferences, it needs some particular formats so that I can bring them here. And I can work with a better view here. So I suggest you at least you work with some softwares in your field. Perhaps you don't work with all of the softwares, but at least you get familiar with different techniques uh, and you can understand how you can use them simultaneously. And it is really effective in your innovation in softwares. Uh, so I don't mean that you leave this software right now and go for other softwares, no. So at first, try to learn it completely. And then after it, you can go and test Bexel or Synchro for uh, getting acquaintance, for example. So Navis Work software is a software that I told you before you can bring a lot of uh, formats here. And also it is for association of different files with each other, uh, such as uh, architecturing, uh, structural engineering, I don't know, uh, electricity, mechanical engineering, 
and then you can discover interferences and you can check the simulations that you want to do I also search these items that can really help you in economical things I don't know speed of your project uh, quality uh, decreasing the expenses and finally improving your project and work satisfaction of clients also it is really important for the users that are going to that are going to use uh, these places as residential places hospital um, commercially places and some other items uh, you know uh, navis work has some different versions navis work management navis work freedom navis work simulation so let me show you the side of autodesk here that you can compare these versions together so i told you we have three versions uh, simulate manage and freedom actually the freedom version is for those people or clients that want to uh, see or check the project that you've done those projects for those clients before just to open these projects to check them uh, and uh, compare them with the reality so it depends on the country that you're living for example, for some companies, it's not really suitable uh, for a project to buy uh, the main version of that. And they probably buy one or two main version of it, and uh, the other versions are free to check just. But we're not going to talk a lot about that version. Um, actually, uh, you can go through uh, uh, this site and download it. However, when you download it, uh, it will be installed, uh, and we'd rather not to install that. And here is for the version. And also, it has some features like NWD, 3D, DWF files, and also some other capabilities that you can see them here. So let me return here. 